Говорит Москва. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Wolfie Not Cool. Today we're going to be continuing our quest. And uh, it's been a while, so let's read what our quest is going to entail. A piece of ceramic... Actually, that's not the one. When I left the community center, a bloodied black muzzle swam up before my mind's eye. I recalled my previous encounters with black wolves. I'd got the better of once before, but this wolf wouldn't be alone and animals tended to be more ferocious than usual when protecting their mother. Plenty of people wouldn't be coming back from this hunt. Maybe I wouldn't make it back either, but I didn't feel any fear. It was another feeling entirely. I saw the headless body of the hunter torn to pieces like it was happening all over again, and I couldn't do anything. So we'll have to travel over here, which we're heading right now. Uh, it seems like I think I need to take this off. Let's remove that. Okay. That should be fine. Let's head over. Uh, we have enough ammunition. But we're definitely going to be needing to fight the, uh, the wolf with weapons. We're not going to take our chances. Seems like this is going to be a tough fight. Reaching the area, the slaughterhouse. The men going on the wolf hunt set up a temporary camp next to the burned out warehouse of the highway. Thick smoke rose from rusty barrels. The fighters sat on logs around a hot fire and hungrily devoured roasted potatoes and drank water from large tin mugs. One older comrade sat cross-legged on a red oilcloth and laid out pieces of freshly fried fish on scraps of newspaper. I noticed Gavrilov nearby. He was gest gesticulating with a half-gnawed chicken bone regaling the men around him with a tale from his turbulent adolescence. The men laughed, clutching their sides. The hunters were buoyed up, cheerful even, too cheerful. But they couldn't see how small their chances of survival were. They must have simply refused to entertain the possibility. He received a fried potato. I counted 11 fighters. These were the only people who had decided to help Gavrilov fight the impending wolves, and it wasn't many people at all. Got a fried fish. Five men were armed with assault rifles. The other had old Sonov shotguns or double barrel shotguns. As I recalled, automatic gunfire was effective against black wolves, but single bullets didn't bother them much. We had to hope that we weren't about to face a large pack. Gavrilov saw me and stopped his storytelling, beckoning me over. And here's our friend, the one that I told you about. The former investigator introduced me to the others and shook their hands. He's come to us all the way from Tver, so he's got some fighting experience. I promise to help with the wolves. Have you actually seen the wolves we've got around here? Normal wolves have nothing on these beasts, said the fighter next to Gavrilov, looking up fully at me. He wasn't a young man and he had tired, squinting eyes and heavily lined face. I've seen them before. I've killed one in Moscow. One on one, the hunter repeated. The others looked over at me with respect. Impressive. Around here we scavenge in groups of twelve at least and that's just for the she-wolf. Yuri, don't stir things up, the guy next to him said. It's bad enough as it is. We're just about to head out, Gavrilov said to me. If you have any questions, ask them now. Who's leading the squad? I am, and Yuri's helping, Gavrilov responded. When it comes to wolves, we have the most experience, I suppose. Before, Kirill was in charge of all operations, Yuri said glumly. He was Navy Special Forces. We keep the stepfather, the one who didn't come back from Kiev. You were there too, maybe you saw the body, Gavrilov confirmed. It ran out of cottages, he couldn't retreat, so he went at the she-wolf with a knife. A knife! I recalled the dead body with the bitten off hands. The hunter fell silent for a moment as a sign of respect for the dead. Where is the she-wolf hiding? In an old slaughterhouse, five kilometers off the highway to Zdomir. I think I said that right, by the way. Zdomir? 
Jetmir, Jetmir. Wolf cubs were sighted there, Yuri replied. And then days ago, three days ago, all our people out there were killed. The wind hasn't changed in a long time yet. We're going to approach the slaughterhouse from downwind. If it works and they don't catch our scent, we'll get there unnoticed. We'll take out the she-wolf and get the hell out of there. Such an optimist, Yuri. Gabrilov laughed darkly. These, cr these creatures are bling, but they'll sniff us out miles away. Say what you want, but they all come running to defend the mother. Okay. As soon as the she-wolf is dead, not before, investigate uh, interjected, giving me a cold look. Take my advice, forget about everything else for now. If we are focused, if we don't work together, nobody will be coming home. Every man is responsible for the rest of the squad. Are we clear? We're clear. Excellent. The plan is simple. Don't die, replied one of the hunters, Grigori. Let's consider the worst case scenario, also known as the most likely scenario. Karpilov said, there's a whole pack of wolves around the slaughterhouse. We've got odorous smoke bombs, we'll take the beast by surprise, we'll kill them all before they even know what's hit them. We'll go into the building, find the she-wolf and take her out fast. The worst case scenario is that they gets the jump on us, Yuri mother. But if we're really stuck, we have plan B, said Gavrilov. There was a small suitcase on the ground between his feet and he gave it a solemn pat. Uh, that was in a text line. <laughs> it's fine. I don't have any more questions, I say. Then let's get started, Gavrilov, and, uh, Gavrilov said with a nod. Jumping to his feet. Folks, no more chit chat. We're moving out. The hunters scramble to get ready. Do me a favor, would you? Gavrilov murmured. Round me off to one side. I haven't seen Nikita in uh, over an hour. Go get him. Should, he should be on the other side of the highway. I'd go myself, but he won't talk to me. Why? Probably blames me for Kirill's death. His stepfather, Gavrilov, died. And then I was the one who took him away from Kiev and stopped him getting his revenge on the wolves. Will you do it? Okay, I'll find him. It wasn't difficult to find the guy. Nikita was sitting on a large stump and he was carving something out of a lump of tree bark. He showed no reaction to my arrival and he just continued carving. He was planning to make a game called Escape from Tarkov. I'm kidding, that's not the Nikita we're talking about. Anyway, Gavrilov sent you, he asked. A point blank when I got closer. He asked me to come get you. He's worried. Nikita frowned but said nothing. Gavrilov thinks that you hold him responsible for your stepdad's death. That's none of your business. Who are you anyway? Nikita replied in irritation. Gavrilov wants something from me, he can come himself. He started thinking, still wielding the knife. I'll finish up and come back. Listen, I'm really sorry. You can take your heartfelt condolences and shove them, Nikita said, frowning. All of you, I'm sick of it. I suddenly remember Nikita in Kiev, shooting the wolf with tears in his eyes. I'm gonna go with this, my stepdad when my mom died. Long time ago, I was still in school. My stepdad made me a wooden figurine of my mom dancing. Uh, yeah, we're just going through the uh, text here, I'm trying to get more information out, but it's just story. Okay, yeah, there was nothing he could have done. This is talking about the time when uh, his stepdad got killed. He had a Makarov and it's like flea bite to those black wolves. I don't know if he'd do what my stepdad did for him, but he's not blamed for his death. The blame lies elsewhere. Me. Uh, he blames himself. Alright, let's go. It's time to fight anyways. Come on. Listen carefully. There are nine wolves near the slaughterhouse. Four to the east, they're sleeping. And five to the south, they're up and alert. We'll take the brutes by surprise. We're splitting the squad into two groups. We'll attack simultaneously. The first group will throw smoke bombs at the four sleepers from behind, cover, and make Swiss cheese of them. The other group will go around the five wolves from downwind, take up their positions, and open fire on signal. Decide if you're going in the first group or second group. 
first group is less risky choice. The wolves will be asleep, but you need it more in the second group. Uh, you're a little paranoid, Pavel. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the second group, of course. Unfortunately, the firing distance proved great for most of my comrades. I killed one wolf, but the others highly had minor injuries and started running right at us. How could you miss? Gavrilov shouted, huffing and puffing. Even though they had completed the training, the country folk hadn't turned into sharpshooters. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, we're gonna run over there right now and try to kill the wolf. Oh my god. Oh my god, we lost five men and another... The sixth was at the desk. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh shoot. We've just lost our only lead. We need to ask someone else now. Oh my god. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So he's dead. Gavrilov's dead. And he talks to Nikita, asking for forgiveness about his whole stepfather who was in Kiev. And uh, it looks like we're going to go to plan B. And this time, I think I'm going to be placed in battle because there was nothing else to do, so we went around the slaughterhouse from the other side and entered the dark, tapering tunnel, one after another. Uh, let's move forward, guys, and keep moving in. Uh, they hear something, so we're listening closely right now. Somewhere in the corner, drops of water were beating rhythmically off the concrete floor. Okay, the she-wolf is probably somewhere around there. Oh, my. Uh... All right. It's so pitch black that I got someone else to do it. Keep firing. Oh no, Yuri, don't give up. No. We're, we're falling one by one in this archway. This is a very good story arc. Uh, I don't really want to spoil it for you guys. You guys need to go through this. So I'll try to get to the mission uh, and the choices that we got. Uh, so now Grigor and or me, one of us had to die. I'm <laughs> Grigory. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, I mean, Chikori. Oh, no. I got a concussion. Oh, frig. All right, we got it right now. It's It's right here. A massive she-wolf and now the fight starts okay uh what is my best weapons here i got this uh 40 60 light heavy action points three the shotgun okay Having a concussion is problematic. I don't know if the blast reaches him, so I'm going to back off just a little bit in my turn. Managed to hit him. All right, we'll have to shoot this guy. Oh my god, he's enraged. Oh lord. 
Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna die. There's no way he survives this. Oh my god, it does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. Like I mean a lot of damage. <laughs> oh no. Grigori might not survive this. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, grenade. I'll have to use the bird to distract this guy. Let's put him away. Back here, hopefully. And he's gonna go for it. I'll throw another grenade. Oh, it takes two turns. You know what? I'm gonna end my turn first. Save it up. Uh, let's move. Actually, let's keep him here. Let's hope that he goes for the bird. Nope, he, he goes for me. Oh, I might not survive this chat. Uh, yeah, I might not survive this. We'll have to do it again. He missed though, which is good. We need all the attack that we can get. I'm going to get my bird to do something, even though it's probably nothing. He missed twice. Lucky for us. We probably can... Uh how much range does this have? It just has two. I'm gonna move here. I know it's a bad thing to do, but we'll have to fire again. Get this guy out of the way. My armor is completely done for. So I don't know what we can do. Yeah, we're done for. There's no way we're gonna survive this. Um Poor choices. Poor choices, chat. We'll try again. So we'll have to start the whole story arc again. And, uh... Yeah, that didn't work out well at all. Uh, let's see. In terms of armor, do we have anything that we can upgrade? Probably not. But I'm just going to double check to see if there is anything that we can use. There's this that gives us 168 versus 105. We might need to do that. But I don't have the main armor set. Question is... Do we poison the fella? I feel like we poison him a little. Make him sleepy and whatnot. Let's see if we can fast forward. Uh, see if we can actually. Fast forward the mission. I'll pause the screen right here and continue back when we're in the fight scene. Okay, uh, we've got back to that little moment. The grenade seems useless. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this instead, use this weapon. Uh, too many action points are being wasted on that weapon, so I feel like that is the most effective weapon we have right now. And in terms of everything else, I will bring... Uh, let's see. I don't know if the Molotov's gonna do anything, but I'll bring the AK with me, the RPK. So I'm I'm tremendously injured right now. There's nothing much I can do. Uh, what I can try to do is get one step closer, and then move my bird in the way after I shoot. Give this guy uh, a good poison. I probably could shoot it with the pistol as well. 
Okay, good. This should give me a chance to get my uh, birdie here. To give him an attack. Let the other guys fire from there. He missed, which is good for me. Now I can move out of the way. Uh, I'm going to move over here and maintain fire with the pistol. Two shots. It's about a, a little bit more than the, the AK. This 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 fight we can win as long as he doesn't go for me after this. Much better. Okay. We're going to move out of the way again, uh, moving down here this time, getting the one set of poison damage in and one pistol, which I have mistakenly used the crossbow for. It's fine. Looks like we'll get a, a tick of damage, but we're going to be OK. He missed again. Uh, I'm going to finish him off with a pistol and looks like we've won the battle. No experience. The monster clung on to life till the very end. When the assault rifles were out of ammunition, Grigori and Yuri reached for the shotguns. But the she-wolf just whined, trying to bite us, refusing to die. Only when we had turned the enemy into a shapeless, bloody mass did its legs give way. And this real-life nightmare, a monster wrought by radiation, grasped its last breath. I left the men in the eviscer evisceration area and swept the beam of my flashlight across the cold storage, as I had hoped the whole litter of wolf clubs, just short of a dozen, had perished in the explosion. Now we really could get out of here. Okay, we got an F1 grenade, we got a Mosin rifle, but I am severely injured. And that is the episode, boys. Uh, right now I have an update that I'm going to do one episode a week. It's going to be long episodes like this. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I think the next episode will deal with our wounds and continue on the story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Wolfie Not Cool. Have a great day.